Hello, <laughs> and welcome to Frequency Bond Summer Music Connection 4. A musical approach to the basics is what we're talking about this summer. And this session four is going to be about endurance. Yes, endurance. And I've picked an interesting day to speak about endurance because I'm very tired. <laughs> Which is a great thing, actually. Because when we think of endurance, one of the things, obviously, that comes up is stamina. How can we put off keep getting tired? How can we keep our strength in all ways to continue as long as we need them for? Well, when we think of endurance, one of the first things we think about is physical. We hear a also Sprach Zarathustra excerpt, which I think worries quite a few people. It's easy to split the top B. Um, it's easy to sometimes split a note coming down. The intonation, all of it, is a little more difficult than um, maybe the first excerpt that is done in terms of the flexibility to get from the D to the D, starting from the low A. Well, you know what? It brings up an interesting point. That excerpt in itself does not last a long time, does it? But we can certainly drain our resources by worrying about it. <laughs> so this is going to be more of an introductory video and opening up the whole realm of what is endurance. Some people think, oh, I'm, I'm really pretty good at this point, but I really need to work on my endurance. How can we work on that? It's an interesting topic, working on endurance. And remember, this is a musical approach. No matter what topic I'm going to talk about, I want to weave in a musical approach. And part of the musical approach is finding other energy resources besides the physical body. For there's mental endurance. There's the emotional endurance. Is the physical endurance. So much is at play with endurance. The ability to keep going for a long duration. Maintaining the highest possible quality and standard that we want out of our, in this case, playing. All performing artists, whether they're dancers, actors, athletes, musicians, eventually come up across an endurance issue. So, when someone asks me about endurance, I think of where does our energy come from? Second, what is the vehicle that we're going to put that energy into? Now, I'm not a big gas guy, a big car guy, I should have said. <laughs> hmm. But it's interesting looking at vehicles, whether they're airplanes, rocket ships, cars. There are certain models that have certain types of engines. Those certain types of engines, depending on the ingenuity and technology 
in which they're built require certain fuel. At the same time, there needs to be someone powering or driving the vehicle and the fuel. Right? So we have the vehicle, the fuel, and the driver. Well, in this particular case, when we're talking about a performing artist, we're talking about someone who has taken into account the different staminas required and the different balances that need to be maintained, mental, emotional, and physical, and we can also sense the difference in fuel, how efficiently we can burn our energy and how long it will last. Some days when things are so lined up in such an efficient way, it doesn't seem like it's any effort at all to play. Compared to some other days where the body might be extremely run down or times where emotionally who are going through some difficulty, more mentally. So, in one of the earlier videos, I talked about fuel sources for the human processing machine, our physical encasement, our whole complex structure. We need physical food, and that's broken down into solids, liquids, and gas, air. But we also need, the most vital one I pointed out was electromagnetics, or energy. Now, this energy for a human being, a lot of it is governed by what we think. What we think about, and how we think about it. And you even look at the Olympics, which the, all the training that went involved, it just wasn't physical. They had to have an incredible mental toughness and potent desire and love, passion, for their territory to have the endurance to go from one level to another level to another level, even in their own development, let alone all the different parts of their particular game that they're playing. So where do we draw energy from? Well, good warming up, good maintenance of our mental and physical health, emotional health is important, and what we think about is vital, absolutely vital. For if we have an attitude that's defeatist, an attitude that thinks, oh, we're not good enough. All these things are going to eat away at us. If we decide to give ourselves the time to develop. And let's say we give ourselves, look, at the end of these four years of college, let's say, I'm going to know whether I really want to continue this. That's one kind of person. I've seen that many times. Other people are going to do whatever it takes until they're 50 years old to get to their desire, 60 or 70. I'm not at my goal. I didn't set one at the level of my music making. So it's a very fascinating topic, endurance, for it gets into why we do what we do, What do we want to accomplish with what we do? Where do we want to take it? And not only that, can we keep at it long enough to get results that we can feel honorable about, that we actually gave it our best shot? In the next series of videos, I will be very specific, talking about some physical things, some emotional things, some ment mental alignments, that I have found very important 
and acquiring another kind of fuel beyond the physical. At the same time, making sure we have a physical vehicle that can take it as far as we need to.